In the last tutorial we had a look at some basic structural elements such as while loops, case structures and weights. Uh, for this tutorial I'd like to look into loops in a bit more detail and in particular we're going to have a look at the terminating condition of the loop and how we can play with that. Uh, we're going to have a look at comparisons and booleans as well along the way. So let's start with the program we had last time which as you'll recall made the robot drive around on the field uh, until it saw the black uh, line at the edge of the field in which case it would back up and turn and that's the case we're looking at here. Uh, if it saw silver, so a value above 71, it would stop the robot. Well what we're going to do for this program is we're going to take this break command outside of the loop and put it at the end. So now what will happen is when the loop terminates that's when the robot will stop. Uh, and to make that happen I'm going to wire that in to the end of my program. You'll see I've got a broken wire there. Um, so what I'll need to do is wire from the light around this case structure and into the end of the loop. And now that takes care of that. And this will only happen once the loop terminates. Now at the moment the loop uh, doesn't terminate at all because we're set to false. If we can click on that we can change it to true. But this means it would it would go out on true straight away and that's not what we want either. So in fact what we'll do is we'll select this uh, constant and we will drag that inside the case structure and we will wire it from here through to um, shall I just bring it out through here and then from there down to the terminating condition and you'll notice we've got a square here that's uh, empty and that's indicating that there are some conditions of this case where that's not defined. So if we go to one of these other cases you see it's not defined. So what we need to do um, is we need to add a condition there. We could create a constant at that point. Uh, that will do it. And by default it's false which is fine. And the other situation was that if we saw black uh, we'll also set that to false and now we've got a filled in square which is what we want. So what we've got now is a program that will work the same as we had before. Now why would we want to do this? Because in some cases we want to use an alternate condition for terminating the loop. So in this case let's use a sound sensor and we'll have it that if our robot hears a sound above a certain value um, then it will also terminate the loop. So we'll read the sound in dBA and that comes out as a numeric value. So what we need to do is from the comparison subpalette select uh, let's just say greater than and we'll create our constant on the input here of uh, let's say 80. So if we hear a sound greater than 80 then that will give us uh, course to terminate. So we want either of these ca either of these conditions to cause us to terminate. So we need to combine these uh, and we can use the boolean subpalette and either either of them will be fine so we can do one or the other. So we need to wire this in and now if either of these conditions are met then it will terminate. Let's try it out. And if it runs onto the silver, it also terminates. <laughs> 